It's Friday night and you're stuck playing Drakengard. I'm sorry, man. Because you're just trying to make a video about Nier, and you put yourself through the video game equivalent of waiting for your dad to come home from McDonald's, because he promised he'd bring you back some food. But you don't want to wait the 36 and a half hours for him to come down from his binge of cocaine and dollar hookers to remember that he has a son. That's a scenario that I'm sure everyone can relate to, right? So how do you make this monotony end any quicker so you can just level up Kai Kai came Kaim and his weapons with minimal effort. Well, since you didn't listen to the fairy's advice and you're watching this tutorial, chances are you might want to know. There are two methods to farm a weapon experience in this game. Method 1. Download a game save from GameFAQs with all the weapons and experience unlocked. I mean, Method 1. The quick and dirty Butcher's Joy method. Or... Method 2, known as the Pussy's Way Out, the Spiked Wisdom Method. Skip to the timecode if you want to do that, I guess. Choose a method based on whether or not you prefer to wear a Jimmy hat. Alright my friend, you have selected the Butcher's Joy method. The method that feels better but comes with a lot more consequences attached to it. But it does feel good though. Mm. Step 1. Set the game mode to easy. Done. Step 2. Get the Butcher's Joy. To do this, go to Expedition Mode. You have to have unlocked a silent forest area in story mode before you can do this. Choose in the sky mode. You have 2 minutes and 30 seconds to kill all the enemies on the screen. Think you can manage that? Just build up that dragon breath and press triangle. Keep doing that. You'll receive the fabled butcher's joy weapon if you manage to do it in the time limit. And if you haven't, just, just quit the game and stop it. Because it's not going to get easier from here. Moving on to step 3. Switch over to story mode and select chapter 1, verse 2. This is the opening castle stage where an endless supply of soldiers litter the field. Slash a few enemies until your magic meter fills up. Hit triangle. You'll cast an orb spell that'll take away a small chunk of your health, but it'll allow you to plow right through groups of enemies at ease. You see, in Drakengard, the weapons don't scale with the experience that you earn from killing enemies, but level based on how many enemies you kill with the selected weapon. Why, you might ask? To pad out the game, maybe? bad game design. Anyways, just kill around 400 guys, which should include the targets for that area, grab the key, go to the gate, in the level. After you do that, the Butcher's Joy will level up. Just make sure the game auto saves and proceed to step 4. Step 4. Quit, reload level, max out the Butcher's Joy. Every time you level up the Butcher's Joy, you'll notice the magic is now stronger and lasts longer. Hey <laughs> hey! However, there is a downside, because the amount of health it takes away from you also increases. You can counter this detrimental effect by killing soldiers to get health orbs, but in all honesty, it just makes the grind even longer. Hey man, it's your Friday night. Who am I to tell you how to live your life? You know, do what you're gonna do, but there is a better way. Step 5. Cast the Butcher Magic and Switch Weapons. Now that you've maxed out the Butcher's Joy, cast the magic and quickly switch to another weapon on your wheel that you want to level up. Every enemy killed with the orbs will now count towards the total of the current weapon equipped. Ah, uh, you see where it's going? Once the magic wears off, switch back to the Butcher's Joy. 
cast the spell, and switch back. Do this until you've killed around 400 soldiers or the will to live has left your body, whichever comes first. Make sure you finish the level to save your progress. You don't want to lose it. Thus concludes the fabled Butcher's Joy Method. Wow, aren't you the honorable lad? Taking it slow and slipping into something nice. I see. You're the kind of guy that treats your lady with respect. Or maybe you've saddled up with a dame with a double digit partner count. Hey, it's current year and she's getting older and she's had her fair share of Butcher's Joy Method users in her time. She's put a lot of miles on it. Now she's with you. Be proud of yourself, Hotshot. You've chosen the Spiked Wisdom Method. Not to be confused with how you got her in the sack in the first place, you creep. Step one, set the game to easy mode. If you chose the Spiked Wisdom Method, chances are you're already here, wuss. Step two, get the Spiked Wisdom. To do this, go to Expedition Mode and select the Desert of the Moon Map Point and select Temple of the Desert. Desert of the Moon, Temple of the Desert. The goal here is to waste 20 minutes of your life until a treasure chest appears. Maybe you should have listened to the fairy when you had the chance. After 20 minutes have passed, a treasure chest containing the spiked wisdom will appear inside the old prison walls. You can find it located on the map here. Take your time, write it down. Kill off the remaining targets to complete the level. You now have the spiked wisdom. Step three, switch over to story mode and select chapter one, verse two. Equip the spiked wisdom, don't you forget. This is the opening castle stage where an endless supply of soldiers litter the field. Slash a few enemies until your magic meter fills. You know where this is going. Hit triangle once and you'll cast an orb, but unlike the butcher's joy, none of your health will be depleted and it'll allow you to plow through groups of enemies at ease. Don't you feel special now? Kill around 400 dudes, which should include the targets for the area. Grab the key, go to the gate, end the level. After you do that, the spiked wisdom will level up. Step four, quit, reload the level, max out the spiked wisdom. If you've maxed out the spiked wisdom, you'll notice the magic is now stronger and lasts longer. There's no downside to this, yay. Step five, cast the magic and switch weapons. Now that you've maxed out the spiked wisdom, cast the magic and quickly switch to another weapon that you wanna level up. Every enemy killed with the orbs will now count towards the total of the current weapon equipped. Once the magic wears off, switch back to the spiked wisdom. Just, just do the same thing as the butcher method because I know you watched it. Make sure you finish the level to save your progress. Congratulations, you now have the knowledge to prepare you not to enjoy this game in a faster, more efficient manner. Here's the end slate, where I will include future links to my reviews of both Drakengard and Nier. Guess which one I'm gonna like, just take, a, just take a guess. If the links are already there, then please disregard this previous statement and your curiosity to try out Drakengard. Just watch a YouTube video of the E-Ending and save yourself 36 hours. You're welcome.